Phyllis Omido, a single mother of one, lives a cautious life. She has been hounded several times for the work she does here in Kenya's coastal city of Mombasa. First in 2012, where gunmen were sent to my door. Mm, they threatened me. Luckily, I escaped before they shot me. Uh, in, uh, before that, 2012, is when we had we were organizing massive demonstrations you know, in Uhuru to push for the closure of the smelter, metal refinery. This is Owino Uhuru. And right next door, the lead smelting plant. Phyllis started working for the smelting company in 2009, but quit her job as soon as she realized that the company was not following environmental regulations. In addition to the dangerous fumes that would billow out of the factory, the owner disposed of untreated wastewater in open drains running through the settlement into water sources nearby. Records show that at least 20 factory workers have died as a result of lead poisoning, but worse still, at least 100 children have died of the same. The smelting company was finally shut down in 2014. We started pushing the port to impound containers that were exporting lead. And in that way, we raised the cost of, cost of business for metal refinery PZ. And that's how we managed to shut down not only metal refinery PZ, but other three other three other smelters in Mombasa and uh, throughout the country I think 17 smelters were shut down still four years later the dust the walls and even the iron sheets of the homes here still have high levels of lead Phyllis is now using the courts to push for compensation for victims of lead poisoning the case begins on March 19, 2018. We hope to win. We have done our research. And what we are asking for is not a wild allegation. But it's not just pollution Phyllis is fighting. She's also pushing for social justice. She's currently helping local residents of Kenya's salt belt, where people are being evicted from their land unfairly as salt companies cut down trees to expand operations. So we are starting from a very basic level with this community, but we want to take it up to a very practical level where they are actually um, able to practice what we are teaching them today. Um, we know that already a lot of damage has been done in terms of the initial stages, the EIS stage. Phyllis is teaching us how to defend our rights and speak up to the government and these salt companies. Even though there have been more threats to her life, Phyllis is determined to defend the environment no matter what.